today's email clients feel stale, tired and suffocatingly similar? Was Notion's idea of launching an email app just plain stupid? Yes, it is from Notion, the company we've come to love. But it's a completely separate app. And for now, it has no connection to Notion at all. So when Notion announced this last year, it felt like they were stepping into a war zone. First of all, there's Gmail, the world's biggest inbox. Then you've got disruptors like Superhuman or Spark. And all of them are trying to reinvent email from the ground up. And of course, the traditional workhorses, Apple Mail and Outlook. Boring, maybe, but they are everywhere. So until I got access to the beta, I was seriously wondering, what was Notion even thinking? So Notion Mail feels immediately familiar to Notion users. And it creates this instant aha. It's classic Notion, sidebar on the left and database style rows on the right. But for email, it literally feels like you're looking at a Notion database. Each emails a row with columns as properties like sender, subject, and some labels. And you get three view options when reading an email. The side peek, the center peek, or the full page. Now I use the side peek and it lets me zoom in into the email while still seeing what's before and after. You remember those uh, slash commands that you see in Notion? They work here too. You can drop in headers, bullets, or quotes, just like in Notion. Isn't that a brilliant way to compose your emails quickly? And they feel fairly clean and structured. And when you hover over an email, you get this brilliant preview. No need to open it. Now it is a small touch, but it makes skimming so much faster. Now there is this usual web version, but if you're on a Mac, you get a proper native app. And between the views on the left and the emails on the right and the arrow keys to move around, it's pretty simple to navigate. And let's say you're looking for something specific, just hit search. And if you do have Notion AI, it's also baked in right into the email app. And you can ask it to write replies and summarize emails, all without leaving your inbox. Now Notion Mail is available offline. It has this quick setup and setup is self-guiding. It's got an easy onboarding experience and settings are pretty straightforward. You can switch between the light mode and the dark mode, change how threads open and decide what happens after you archive the mail that you're reading. Now font sizes are adjustable too and this one is really important. I keep mine at large, way easier to read. And if you want to change it on the fly, I just hit this command plus or command minus button and it scales up or down instantly. And let's not forget, it can be connected to multiple Google or Gmail accounts. Now, if you want to tweak how your inbox looks, you can group stuff, add filters, and show or hide certain fields, all from the view settings. And yeah, you can even control what those little hover icons do. Star it, trash it, mark it as done. It's all up to you. And if you already use labels in Gmail, they show up in Notion Mail automatically. There's no setup needed. It just pulls them in instantly. And it syncs both ways too. Now, have you noticed that there's no clutter here? No ads, no weird widgets, nothing fighting for your attention. Just your inbox. And it feels pretty fast. No lag, no weird loading. Everything opens just the moment you click. Now, if you're into keyboard shortcuts, Notion Mail has you covered. So you can hit E to archive, R to reply, U to mark unread. All the basics are built in. Snippets are basically your saved replies. And you know what the cool part is? They're dynamic. So if you've got the contacts name, it can auto insert that right into the message. You can create custom views in the sidebar, then add filters to show just the unread emails, ones with attachments or specific senders. It's like building your own inbox layout and you can have multiple of these. I've actually set up my inbox to exclude emails that are tagged to a new order. They skip the clutter and land in their own view instead. And auto labels, they're like smart folders. So you tell Notion what kind of email you want to group and it figures out the rest, all using AI. For example, I've set up this new view called new order and it pulls in every email from Squarespace, which is the platform I use for my website. 
Let's talk about another powerful Notion mail feature. Let's say you're trying to schedule time with a colleague to talk about an upcoming presentation. You can mark your availability right inside of this email. It opens up a mini calendar and you can just drag across your free time slots. Uh, this one is hypothetical. Notion then generates a scheduling link that the other person can use to book a slot. Super smooth. Uh, you don't have to send emails right away. This is really nice. You click this little arrow next to the send button and you can schedule it to go out later. There's some fixed times that are given to you as an option and then there's a customization option. Super handy if you're writing late at night or you want it to land just at the right time. And if you ever need a backup, there's an option in the account settings to export all of your email data. So just hit export and it downloads a copy for you. Now, Notion AI runs on GPT 4.1, which is basically the new turbocharged version of GPT 4. It's faster, smarter, and can handle way more context than before. And there's one more Easter egg. And this one has got me really excited. So there was this post on X where the team, the founders actually of Notion's email app, teased a send to Notion feature from Notion Mail right into Notion. Given the advanced stage that we can see the features in, I would reasonably expect this to drop during the Make With Notion event later in the year. And by the way, did you notice the change in some of the menu options that we can see in this next version? So fingers crossed, this may be Notion's version one mail and it isn't that far after all. So right now Notion Mail only has a native Mac app. There isn't any Windows app yet for all of my Windows friends. Though of course, you can still use it as a web version on any platform. And surprisingly, there's no direct integration with the Notion app itself, though it's been teased as you saw before. You can't send emails to pages or link them to tasks just as of yet. There's no mobile app either. Hmm. The iOS version is coming soon, but the Android users need to wait a little longer till later in 2025. As we saw earlier, Notion Mail only supports Gmail and Google Workspace. So if you're using Outlook, iCloud, or a custom email domain, you're out of luck, sorry. You also can't connect multiple accounts into a single unified inbox yet. And yes, it still lacks proper threaded conversations. So reading long email chains feels clunky. Go up, go down, search for it, see when he replied. AI features only work if you're subscribed to Notion AI. They're not available on the free plan. Now there are some power user features like read receipts, email tracking, undo sends. Sorry guys, not here yet. And oddly enough, the version number hasn't changed since the beta. It's still 0.32. Now that might be a hint that not much has changed under the hood as of yet. There are no hidden costs, no paywall, and no more wait lists. It's available to everyone. To me, the product feels incomplete. I can see quite a number of gaps. This is concerning as user interest may drop off once the initial hype fades. Right now, it's a great second inbox, but not yet ready to be your only one. 